Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through one of the beautiful buttery breads of the gluten kingdom. Today, I'm making a brioche loaf from scratch in which the uses are basically endless. So let's dive into the recipe. All right, so first things first, get the starter to the bread going by adding milk, sugar, and dry active yeast to the bowl of an electric mixer. Give it a quick stir, then allow it to bubble or froth up for 20 minutes. When the mixture looks alive with bubbles, add in the eggs, about half of the flour, and mix on medium speed with the dough hook for about five minutes. After that, you're gonna scrape the bowl down really good, add the rest of the flour, and continue mixing for another three minutes until the dough becomes very elastic. Just don't forget to add a pinch of salt or two during this process, otherwise the bread will become a bit bland. After the dough has come together, start adding the room temperature butter in large chunks while it's still mixing and try to allow the butter to absorb into the dough before adding the next round. Uh, but once all the butter is incorporated into the dough, mix for another three minutes until the dough is very smooth and has a nice sheen to it. Now that the dough is finished mixing, take it out of the mixer and onto a floured working surface. Knead the dough for a minute just to get a smooth shape, then you're gonna transfer it to a lightly oiled or buttered bowl covered with plastic and allow this to rest in a warm spot in your kitchen. I would say 95 to 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is probably the safest slash fastest proofing temperature. Um, but just try to find that warm spot. And you're gonna let this proof for an hour or until it has doubled in volume. Once the dough has finished with its first rise, take it out of the bowl and onto a floured surface again. Divide it, store the rest of the dough in the fridge if you're not going to use it right away, and begin shaping the other half into a small loaf by tucking the edges of the dough towards the bottom of the board. Um, after that, you're gonna lightly butter all the edges of your loaf pan, then place the dough blob seam side down, give it a few gentle presses around the edges, then you're gonna cover it and allow this to proof for one last time before you throw it in the oven. Right before you are about to bake the brioche dough, evenly brush the top of the loaf with a simple egg wash, which is basically a 50-50 blend of water and egg yolk. After that, you're gonna bake this in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes, then turn the temp to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for another 10 minutes in order to get a really beautiful dark crust. Now that the bread is finished baking, take it out of the oven, let it cool down for a few minutes before handling, then carefully remove the loaf from the pan with some handy dandy kitchen utensils that are thin and can kind of work around that crust without completely destroying it. Transfer it to a cooling rack and allow it to cool down to room temperature before slicing, but this probably is the hardest part of the recipe, is just waiting. Uh, but when the loaf has cooled down, slice it, toast it up, serve it, or wrap it in plastic, and you can store it in the fridge for at least a week. And if you want to keep it in the freezer, it lasts about a month or so. Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of bread.
All right, brioche time. What's up guys? All right, so the brioche is done. Um, this looks really, really good. Just a little bit of toasty action and some butter, a little bit of Maldon salt to finish. And, um, you know, it's very simple toast, very simple way to present brioche. There's obviously lots of different ways to go about this. You could do croque madame, croque monsieur, you could do crispy French toast, any kind of French toast variation with this bread. It's a fantastic, very buttery, rich bread. I love brioche. Oh, by the way, if you guys are a little distracted with this bump going on here, I just smacked my head on the hood. Apparently this hood is a little bit shorter than the one that I used to film next to, so I gotta get, <laughs> accustomed to the height, so please excuse my nice little goose egg right here. But anyways, this is a very simple bread to make. Just a few kind of uh, steps to get used to as far as proofing, letting the yeast um, activate, and getting used to kneading the dough, whether you're doing it by hand or through a machine. Uh, but all good things, all things that you can learn and um, get a little bit more efficient at. I love making bread for that reason because I get to kind of experience those motions again and relearn them, and I like to store those things away. Um, for when I don't have recipes in front of me and I can kind of imagine how I used to make it or uh, you know a previous recipe that I've either mastered or have executed a number of times so it's definitely a good thing to practice love making bread um, but I'm gonna stop talking dive into one of these pieces of toast and tell you guys how I did let's do it mm. such a simple bread a lot of like Caramelized butter notes, very rich, really soft in the middle, crispy on the outside. And it has, um, not like a cake crumb, but it's like a, a little bit more worked than cake batter, obviously. Just a wonderful bread. It soaks up everything you put on it. It's just a really great bread to use in a number of recipes. Mm. It's just really pretty how it toasts up, how it slices. Uh, the crumb is really beautiful. It stays really stiff if you refrigerate it. So it's great for croutons or crackers, things like that. And I always love making brioche. It is a very fun bread to execute. And when it's executed properly, you're like the hero of the kitchen, trust me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying what I do here. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And I will see you guys next time with another recipe and hopefully without this. <laughs> All right, bye guys.